Let's introduce the band. George, I'm Andrew. That's the new documentary, Wham!, that takes fans inside the lives of the British pop duo. It follows the lives of the late George Michael and Andrew Ridgely's journey into stardom with never-before-seen archive footage and private home videos. But the question is, is it any good? And let's bring in movie critic Gray Drake for her review. Gray, you gave us a little preview when you're like, it's all about Wham! <laughs> oh, oh my in. God. I'm so happy we're starting on a high note like this because I was riveted. Mm. Oh, you were? Oh okay. my gosh. This documentary, it really really succeeds primarily because it has all of that archival footage. Mm. So many photos, an incredible interview with the late George Michael. Yeah. We lost him so recently. I, yeah. I had no idea. Huge and, fan. Oh my God, the music, I didn't really know how they started. There's so much to be learned in this doc. I was like, don't and wake me up because I don't want to <laughs> go, go back to 2023. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to do that. Oh my God, I loved it. And yeah. you've got all the great music. I mean, it's so fun to watch the band start, but it, you know, along the way to have the soundtrack. They didn't have an easy start. They overcame a lot of adversity. Mm -hmm. No one took them seriously. And yet they are really talented performers yeah. in their tiny little short shorts. Like, <laughs> yeah, I just pictures. I, I, love I it. can't say enough good things about it. This is exactly what documentaries well, are for, is to take us back and teach us things mm -hmm. we never knew. Yeah. Well, if, if Gray Drake says it's riveting, <laughs> then check, check, check right? the box. I'm watching it this Oof. weekend. <laughs> All right, next, Insidious, The Red Door Gray. Oh my goodness. So, so I always start out with when I, like that when I get nervous because back in 2010, we had the little the family that got haunted or really hunted by a demon. Mm, yeah. Okay. The kid played by Ty Simpkins. When your parents are Rose Byrne and Patrick Wilson, I'm thinking to myself like this family is too hot to be haunted. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're hunted. Right. They're so uh, hot. <laughs> the, just like the demons, just like give me some of that. <laughs> Maybe. And what's really unusual about this movie is that we've had four other Insidious movies, but that whole original cast is back. Okay. Because that young boy in 2010 is now going to college. Oh, wow. Right. So it's like demon keg stands. Woo! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Could not be more wrong because Insidious is a really slow burn of a scary movie. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is the slowest of the burn. Okay. And basically, like... We have this kid enrolled in college, and they're starting to remember the horrible things they've been hypnotized to oh, forget. Yeah. And as an art major, I'm like, children, major in math. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, I really like the movie. I think there's some good scares, especially towards the end, but you really have to hang in there with this mm -hmm. one. So it's Not, a slow burn. Yeah. Okay. Slow. Slow. Molasses slow. burn. Yes. Um, I've seen ads for this one, and I'm excited about it. I'm hoping you say good things. How's Joyride? Look at my face. Yeah. Oh, you're like, good. Okay, good, good. Yeah. So the only thing that I love more than an actual road trip is a movie about a road trip Me too. where I have access to a bathroom. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so in this movie, we've got yeah. Ashley Park from Emily in Paris. And what starts out as a work trip with her friends to close a big deal as she is a fancy lawyer actually turns out to be a search for her birth mother. Oh, okay. Because she was adopted as a kid. Okay. And she's along with some of the most talented actors like Stephanie Hsu, who just had an Academy Award mm -hmm. nomination. So cannot emphasize this R rating enough. Okay. okay. So raunchy. And these movies... Sounds right up my alley. <laughs> right, girl? I knew that's right. So the thing about these movies is that they succeed based on how memorable the raunch is. Mm. Oh, that's true. Okay. And yeah. I will tell you, this is memorable. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Good things. I like uh, Ashley Park, too. She's yes, like, she's like, great. Yeah. I'll do an impression of my husband watching this movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great face. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go to Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. It'll be released in just a few days. Right. So excited to tell you yeah. more yeah. about yeah. this one. I'm just going to go in broad strokes for now and say that it is worth your two hours and 45 minutes. Ooh, oh, that's, that's a long one. Right. Yeah. I didn't know that. Start dehydrating now. Okay, okay. yeah. But yeah. what's great is that Paramount Plus actually has all of the other Mission Impossible movies, and they are also totally worth revisiting. I had no idea, really, until I started looking specifically. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise has been, like, 
jumping off of things oh, yeah. for ages. Yes. Yeah. Right. Oh, that's earlier this week. Suzanne Marquez went through all of the stunts that we all thought were CGI that uh. turned out they were really Tom Cruise. Exactly. Nice. And it was mind blowing. Right. Now, I want to draw your attention specifically to Ghost Protocol okay. because that's the one where Tommy Toms is scaling the Burj Khalifa with his Nintendo Power mm -hmm. Gloves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it is so awesome that I literally high-fived a stranger <laughs> when I saw it. <laughs> it was just that good. And it really, you can't say too much about how sensational these movies are. They're so entertaining. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise really understands what audiences yeah. want to see. Yeah. Yeah. He's a treasure. Well, lots of winners this week. Oh, exactly. it's a great week. Great, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it.